We want to solve problem 6 of part 1 of awesome math for summer program of 2022 this problem. If you want to solve other summer programs or also you can use the card on top of my video, the playlist. Also, if you go to my playlist, I have Harvard, MIT, Stanford math tournament problems. You can solve them and Please subscribe my YouTube channel now and turn on notification, like my video to have next videos. If you have any question, you can comment or feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, so let's solve this problem. For solving this problem, we, the problem says solve in integers. The equation this. So left side is integer because m is integer. Right side. If n is less than 1 so if less than 0 if n is negative so right hand side 3n is not integer but left hand side is integer and that's a contradiction so we've considered this case let's consider 0 and then positive numbers because the problem didn't say positive integer, so we should check these cases. If n is 0, so m cubed plus 24m squared minus 20, 22 equals 1. Okay, and if we take negative 20, 22 to right hand side, um, let me tell you an important thing. When you have integers, you can, for example, have on one side numbers, but Usually in real numbers, you should change one side to zero. For example, I'll take all things to one side. This idea is important in integers, but that idea that one side zero in real numbers. If you want to know how to solve also real numbers, problem integers, different kinds, as I said, feel free because there are some important ideas that are useful from qualifying level up to IMO. Feel free to send message my whatsapp number in the description and comments okay we want to solve this if you factor from m squared it will be m plus 24 uh-huh and let me tell you memorize factorization of 2022 2023 2021 because it are they are related to years 20 uh, now we are in 2022 2024 something like this okay so let me tell you this three because it is next year until 2023 is also okay if you want it also factorize 2024 this one is 43 times 47 this times is two three times six let's check two three ah uh, three six twenty two seven twelve four this one and 2023 is multiple of 7 and if you multiply it divide by 7 it will be 2 62 8 and 63 9 and 289 is 7 times 17 squared so memorize at least these three numbers the prime factorization now we want to use 2023 it's 7 times 17 squared so here we see that m squared times m plus 24 is this so it is m squared so it can be what it can be 1 or 17 the only possible cases 1 squared 17 squared so m can be what m can be plus minus 1 plus minus 17 if you have plus minus 1 if you replace 1 times 24 plus 1 minus 1 we don't reach this if you have 17, 17 squared times 17 plus 24, again, it is obvious doesn't work because it should be 7. And if you replace 17, negative 17, 17 squared, negative 17 plus 24, it will be what? It will be 7. And we see, okay, it works. So one answer is n0 and m equals negative 17. So we found the first answer. Okay, so we've considered n negative and great zero. Now we want to consider n greater than equal one. So if we consider first equation, let me copy first equation and we want to see what we can do in the 
cases that n is positive. So because n is greater than equal 1, we can say right side is multiple of 3. It is also multiple of 3, multiple of 3, multiple of 3. So what is left? You can also prove it by divisibility. 3 divides this, divides this, divides this. Take these things to right hand side. So we conclude 3 divides m cubed. So 3 divides what? m. So we can say what? When 3 divides m, then you can say, okay. The new equation, if we paste, because 3 divides m, we can say, it is multiple of 9. 9 divides this. Also, because m is multiple of 3, it is multiple of 9. Also, 3 multiple of 27. Also, both of them, but we only want to use 9. It is multiple of 9. So, if n is greater than equal to, if n is greater than equal to, so it is multiple of 9. And so, 2022 is left. So, 9 divides 2022. And that's a contradiction. Because it is not multiple of 2022. Sum of digit is 6. And 6 is not multiple of 9. And so, we conclude what? N is not greater than equal to. So, we conclude N is less than 2. And N is greater than equal 1. So, only one case is left. So, N should be equal to 1. So, M cubed plus 24 m squared minus 2020 equals 3. Okay, so we have this equation and we know here we proved 3 divides m. So we can say, for example, m equals 3m1. And if we replace m with 3m1, we have 27m1 cubed plus 24 times this times 9m1 squared equals 2022 plus 20 plus 3 which will be 2025 now we divide both sides by 9 it will be 3m1 squared um, because we have 27 let's divide by 27 m1 cubed plus 9 times 3 8m1 squared and if we divide 2025 by 20 7. We can at first divide by 9. It will be 2 times 9, 18, 22, 2 times 9, 45. 45 by 9 will be 5, and then divide it by 3, and then it's 7, 15, 75. And if you prime factorize it, it will be 3 times 5 squared. And if you factor from m1 squared, it will be m1, m1 plus 8 equals 3 times 25, 5 squared. Now, it is m1 squared, so it can be what? 1 squared or 5 squared, the only possible cases. So m1 can be what numbers? Plus minus 1, plus minus 25. And if you replace plus minus 1 here, it will be 1 plus 8 or 1, negative 1 plus 8. It is impossible. If you replace 25, m1, ah, uh -huh, sorry, sorry. m1, I meant plus minus 5. If you replace m1 with plus minus 5, 25, and it should be 3 here because of this. So the only case that is that satisfied is negative 5. So m1 is negative 5, and we know n was what? n was 1. m was 3m1, was negative 15. So our answer in this case is m negative 15 and n so we found two answers, m negative 15, n1, and the previous answer was m negative 17, n0. Okay, I will release other awesome problems and also SUMEC complete, SUMEC, and for Stanford and Promise solutions, also ROS solutions. If you want to have other summer camp problems or also other Olympiad problems for America, British, and... Stanford, Harvard, MIT, math tournament, all these things. Uh, subscribe my YouTube channel now and turn on notification. Like my videos to have next videos. And if you have any questions, as I said before, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Thanks for seeing my video.